we are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice beautiful day? Today we're making delicious chili beans y'all. And here are our ingredients. Okay, here I'm sorting through my beans and you go in there and get whatever you don't want out of there. Some people, let me tell y'all about this. When I was uh, first got married, I used to, um, when I sort through my beans, I get everything. I, I wanted my beans to be perfect. But it's up to you. If you want the half bean halves, you can leave them in there. But what you do, you go through there and get the chunks of rocks cause um, chunks of dirt out like this one take that chunk of dirt out and just sort through your beans and whatever you don't want just take it out cause some of the beans are um, are chipped or broken I don't want those in my here I'm letting my beans soak um, I just poured some water in there and I'm gonna let those soak and then after I get finished uh, preparing my other ingredients, like I'm getting ready to chop up my onions and bell peppers, I'm going to let my beans soak. I'm going to set them to the side. I'm going to let them soak. And then I'm going to go back to my sink and rinse these off. I'm going to drain the water off of them and, and wash and rinse them. And rinse them like four or five times. I'm going to change the water like four or five times until my water becomes clear. Here, I'm chopping up my vegetables, my onions, and some bell peppers to go in my chili beans. Here, I'm preparing my pinto beans. Uh, here are my uh, beans that I have washed and rinsed off very well. And I'm adding those to my pot. And I also have a piece of ham. This gives your beans a smoky taste. I'm going to add just some of my um, chopped peppers and onions. This is to give your beans flavor. Here I'm adding extra water because we want to have plenty of broth in our beans. Here I'm adding some salt. We don't want to over salt these, just add just a little salt to them so you can season your beans okay here I'm showing you my beans have begun to boil and I'm, but I'm going to turn these down we don't want our beans to cook this rapidly this is how your beans should simmer they should have a rapid simmer I set my heat on number four make sure you add a lid to your beans and time to time go back and check because sometimes your your broth will go down and you need to add more water so to have more broth add more water okay my beans have uh, finished cooking and now we're going to prepare our meat to go in our beans y'all I love plenty of meat to go in my beans here I'm adding my granulated garlic powder my onion powder my black pepper and some salt and my vegetables here I'm browning my ground beef with my vegetables until I no longer see any pink in my meat here I'm removing the ham bone from my beans. Now I'm adding my brown ground beef and vegetables. Mixing this around a little bit. Here I'm adding some tomato sauce.
What I do, I check to see if I'm adding enough tomato sauce or not. I love my chili with um, lots of flavor, so I decided to add another can of tomato sauce. Here I'm adding some ground cumin, some chili powder, and we're going to stir this around. Here I'm tasting to see if I have enough chili powder in my beans. And I'm adding some salt. I decided to add some more chili powder because I love that chili powder flavor in my chili beans. It has to have enough chili powder in it, y'all. Okay, here I'm adding some sugar. This is optional, you do not have to do it. I like just a little hint of sweetness, just a very little hint of sweetness in my chili beans, but you do not have to do this. Okay, y'all, I did let my uh, beans simmer for another like five minutes and these are good to go, y'all, and they taste perfect. Okay, y'all, my beans are ready. Here I'm plating up some of my chili beans. Here I'm adding some hot water cornbread. This is a meal all by itself. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoy my recipe. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get my new and upcoming videos. And to my new viewers and subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Okay, y'all. As always, I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and her family. That's a hit.